Hey, John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I, uh, I'm doing this video to talk about something that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, I recently got an email maybe a few weeks ago, I guess maybe it's been over a month ago, from uh, Ricardo Barbosa, who is putting together this awesome framework. He got my attention when he sent me you know, a link to, uh, to his framework that he's developing. And I took a look at it and he wanted me to get involved with this. And I was pretty sure that, you know, I get a lot of these kind of requests, but this thing looked awesome. Not only did the site he created for it look really, really awesome, but I mean, the functionality of this thing is pretty amazing. So, so the framework is called ShapeFX. And at least that's the tentative name for now. We'll probably be changing the name eventually to make it a little bit more search friendly but what it basically is is uh, it, it's it, it's dynamic comp compilation for C sharp for .NET essentially but it happens on the fly while you're while you're coding your application so you know so the way to think about this is you know let's say that you have some application that you're developing and you, you know, you've got your browser window open and your you're working in the application and then you know you do this whole thing right you you make some change right you save it you recompile you redeploy or maybe you know you make your change and then you got to reload in the browser and get back to that spot and see oh well this still doesn't look right or that you know you test you go through that cycle right so this basically lets you uh to to go ahead and make the change and as soon as you save the change is instantly uh, there in in the production application if you, if it is a production application or just on your on your desktop and your browser can reload it automatically as well and this doesn't work just in asp.net or or mvc it works also with just any c sharp object it's pretty dang cool stuff right you know you can you can have a console app that's running and is 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 using some functionality on some object and you can add a method to it you can change the method signature. You can change the methods on there without recompiling the app. The app is still running, like in a loop, putting out messages to the console. You can change that message. So this is really cool stuff. If you've seen some of the those those videos by uh, uh, is it Brett Victor? I'm I'm gonna butcher his. I think it's yeah Brett Victor. Hey, I uh, I think that's right. I I did get it right. Wow amazing but anyway if you watch some of his videos you, you you'll you'll see what I'm talking about he did this uh, this video on really you know, kind of uh, how programming what he saw for the future of it you know this idea of things changing while you while you're writing the code and, and seeing that change in real life and this that's what got me so excited about this is that this the shape framework is really it, it's that you know and, and, and it's working right now so you know Ricardo is a genius he's he's telling me about how he's implemented all of these things you know I thought I thought I really understood the underpinnings of .NET and, and C Sharp but you no know, this guy's he's got it he's got it good so uh, really really impressive stuff here so I'm, I'm happy to be part of the project and, and, and start actually helping him market this because I, I feel like this has really got some potential here um, if you're interested in checking it out right now at least at the time of this video and hopefully I'll update this if we change the name and domain and stuff. You can go to shapeframework.net and I'll put it put the link in here. But you can see he's got a bunch of videos showing you, you know, uh, open objects, the concept of an open object and how that works. This continuous MVC deployment, um, real-time services, which is another application of this, real-time validators, uh, you know, fixing bugs. So you can imagine a you know production scenario. Where you have these dynamic objects and you can or these open objects and you can basically change make changes instantly in production and get things working now you know obviously we don't want to operate <laughs> in that mode we used to call it the pink sombrero at, at one place that i worked but but sometimes it's necessary right sometimes it's it's necessary to not bring down the entire application and you know imagine this more of applying a hot fix but instantly without bringing down the application or putting instrumentation or logging code in to, to change or log some functionality in production to investigate something. You know, so this is, this is some pretty cool stuff and it's super ridiculously fast. Like, you know, you know the, the Roslyn stuff is, is, is pretty decent and fast, but this is like ridiculously fast. I think it was, he had clogged in at like 10 times faster 
than than the rosin stuff and, and he's got adapters so that this will work with rosin it has different compilation engines it can use you know i'm not going to pretend to understand all of the architecture behind this uh, you know i haven't had I, i'd love to dig into this a lot more the the, the super you know low level geek in me really really gets brought out by this but anyway i just wanted to to make this video uh, for a couple of reasons one to just kind of announce my support for this this thing to uh, you know because i think this is so so cool and to share share this you should really check this out he's got like a beta version that you can download and actually start playing with this uh, and some new get packages if you just go to shapeframework.net i'm curious also to get some feedback on this i'll probably published this video a little bit earlier than I was planning because I want to I want to understand some use cases we're gonna probably attempt to sell this here and we want to know you know wh where this would be useful and wh what you can see as, as the, the real you know big use cases here there's something similar in the Java space called J rebel uh, in, in in perhaps you know that we'll, we'll use that same type of a marketing strategy but uh, but I think there's a lot of you know I just feel like there's a lot of applications for using this technology that I haven't thought of that uh, Ricardo hasn't thought of and so I want to get that feedback so if you've got some ideas about you know how this could work you know go check it out you know play around with it or watch some of the videos send them to me you know email me email email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com or put a comment in the video in fact put a comment that's my preferred method so that uh, it'll be easier for me to organize this and, and and see what see what you guys are saying but yeah this i think this is pretty cool stuff you know it really blew me away you know go take a look check it out shapeframework.net all right take care